listen, I have breaking news concerning Umar Johnson. But first, uh, has anybody like heard or have an update on his school for black boys? I mean, because I've seen him several times on different platforms on YouTube speaking, but he never like mentioned anything about school. So I'm wondering if when he goes to different platforms, do he tell uh, the person that interviews him what questions that he'll answer and what questions not to ask? Because the the topic of the um, the school never comes up on every platform I've heard him speak on. He never speaks on that subject. So I I find that kind of disturbing. I really do. But anyway, um, the breaking news that I have for you guys is that Umar Johnson is now a blood relative of Ramses II. For, for those of you who aren't familiar with this name, Ramses II, also known as Ramesses the Great, was the third pharaoh of the 19th century dynasty of Egypt. He is often regarded as the greatest, most celebrated, and most powerful pharaoh of the New Kingdom itself, the most powerful period of ancient Egypt. Ramesses II died 1213 BC. And we all, know, we all know the BC means before Christ, right? Okay. I'm not making this up, folks. Umar said this himself, that he's the blood relative of Ramses II of Egypt. Just like he said he was the blood relative of Frederick Douglass, the great black abolitionist orator. Umar and Jermaine, Umar, I'm sorry, or Jermaine, whatever y'all call him, tries very hard to look like people we all know he isn't related to. He wore a scarf over his head when stating that he's a relative to uh, Ramses II. You know how those Egyptians used to, used to wear that scarf over their head, you know, uh, and it was long down their back. Well, that's what Umar had on when he was speaking this crazy stuff, right? And he also wore a nappy wig when he said that he was related to Frederick Douglass. But you know, he always says that we black women aren't allowed to wear wigs or weave. But he wears it though. We just can't wear it. When he wants to portray a thug, he wears a jacket and a hat covering his forehead and pretends to have fake goons on his cell phone. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. He needs love, y'all. I think he thought no one would be able to trace his allegations. He should have known all historical figures had their family trees well documented and researched. And he thought black people would just believe him and not question it. But he was wrong. Oh yeah, he was wrong. He didn't count on Frederick Douglass's family having real, you know, he didn't count on Frederick Douglass having real life descendants alive today and that they called him out on his fuckery. Next, he'll be related to Sojourner Truth. He really should have thought this out before he said it. Okay, I want to know what's happening with this trap house he calls a school. If Jermaine isn't a liar, then why isn't the school operating? Has he produced a curriculum? Has he produced a schedule, a mission statement, or even a business plan? Nope. He just jumped right into fundraising without so much as even an online way to keep track of the funds or expenses that he has received. With all of the money you idiots sent to him over the years, he could have bought land and had a school built on it. What was he, what has he said lately about this so-called school? We don't want to hear about dead people from centuries ago that you fantasize about being related to Umar. Well, 
I'll wait for his goons to answer that question. Who defends a man that they do not know on a personal level? Who, who does that? His dumbass followers. That's who. Jermaine Shoemake is not an expert at anything other than straight foolishness. The fact that people send him money and trust their children with him is frightening. When is Jermaine going to do an open school challenge? I must admit that he does have a way with words. Really, he does. Remember when he said consciousness over coochie and po politics over punani? Remember when he said that? Oh, he's got jokes. And some of the stuff that comes out of his mouth is really funny in a sad way. <laughs> really, I don't know if I should laugh or feel sorry for him. I mean, come on guys, he's a brother now. He's hilarious, but crazy at the same darn time. So I'm low key scared of him. Are y'all still running him donations? Who's still running the, uh, Jermaine Dup I could say Jermaine Dupri. Who's still running uh, Jermaine Shoemake donations? Who's still giving that full money? You know, Umar is a hustler. And I predict that he will definitely find another way to take black people's money. You know, I predict in the year 2021, he will, he will still be a rich man. <laughs> from black people's money. He'll find another way to conjure up some type of scheme to get y'all money. Umar would never try to run this scam on non-black people, but he and others like him do it to us because they don't think black people deserve better. Umar and Tyreek, one of the same, are the worst kind of self-haters. They clearly don't respect black people. They're no different than these preachers and pimps. I really wanted Umar to succeed, but then I opened my eyes and seen him for who he really is. Umar's estimated net worth or monies that he has received is $1.5 million. Okay, listen. There was a man, I don't know his name, but some years back who offered Umar $50,000 if he could, if Umar if Umar could show where he spent the money he collected for the school. Okay, black people love to be lied to and hold on to the lie. This clown got at least a million in donations. And what has he got to show for it? Y'all don't even know where this man live. He don't even have an address. He gives y'all a P.O. box number to send y'all money to. He don't have an address. And if he did, he wouldn't tell y'all where it's at. Or anybody where it's at. But um, I lost my tra chain of thought. Um, about the guy who offered him $50,000 if he could show him receipts for all the monies he received. Of course, Umar ignored that. He didn't want to hear that. He didn't want to hear, as much as he loves money, he wasn't going to tell that man where the, where, uh, the re receipts are for the donations that he's received. He's not that dumb. <laughs> really, he's not. Do we ever ask the white man or the preacher what they do with our money? Do we? When Massa asks you for anything, you give without grudging. You can't give it to him quick enough. These are some valid points that I think we should ponder. Are we holding other races accountable as we do Umar? Are we these fake ass preachers? Are we holding these fake ass preachers accountable? Think about it, family. I'm not saying that Umar should be supported. He's a whole fraud. I'm just saying he's not alone, that's all. A lot of people are pimping black consciousness. 
Did I say that right? Black consciousness. <laughs> a lot of people are pimping that, you know. Uh, I don't hate the brother. I don't. He is a brother. At the end of the day, he is a brother. Okay. I just want him to do better. And I want him to stop preying on our people. That is all. Love you guys. Toodles.